are you a fan of Mamba? Then you are definitely going to like this model because this model does not follow the traditional Transformers architecture. Rather, it tries to closely align with recurrent neural networks. And I said Mamba fan primarily because this is an alternative architecture to the traditional Transformers architecture. This model is called Eagle 7 billion parameter model. And this model is of course based on an architecture called RWKV or you pronounce it as Ruafkuf. This is an RNN, recurrent neural network based architecture. So this is combining the best of both the worlds of recurrent neural networks and transformer architecture. We all know that the biggest bottleneck in scaling up transformer architecture is that it requires quadratic computation while you're increasing the context window. While RNNs do not suffer from the problem, RNNs that stands for recurrent neural network has its own problems like you cannot parallelize the training. So that means if you combine somehow RNN and transformers, you can probably have an efficient language model. That is the idea of this and this model had its own uh, version 4 and that was quite good. But now with version 5, we have got Eagle 7 billion transformers Eagle 7, Eagle 7 billion RWKV architecture model and that model is pretty good and at least that's what they're claiming to say that this model when you compare it especially for multilingual benchmarks that it is better than most of the existing models like Mistral 7 billion Llama 2. But I must warn you at this point that the multilingual benchmark that they are using has got a lot of languages. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 plus 11, 22 plus 23 languages they have got, which is of course mentioned here. And like a damn guy, I did not pay attention to that. So they've got 23 languages. Because they have got 23 languages, while they are mentioning multilingual benchmarks, you can assume that naturally their value and the score is going to be inflated. I'm not saying this model is bad. All I'm saying is when you're seeing a benchmark value like this, you should be a little skeptical about what are the combination of languages that has gone into it. For example, Mistral 7 billion, we all know that Mistral is good with English, but there are a couple of European languages that they are good at, but maybe Mistral would not be good at Tamil, Thai, Turkish, Hindi. So what happens is when you combine these as part of the benchmarks, of course, your model is going to have an uplift or an inflated number, which is kind of okay. But the point here is that this is a language model that uh, that is good at across 23 languages, at least from the benchmarks that they are saying. But if you specifically look at only English, which is what most of the people would care about, at least when you're comparing with benchmarks, this model does a pretty good job on a lot of different benchmarks. Let's take the Lambada perplexity. So if you see Mistral, which is still the leader across all the benchmarks, 3.18. And this model, the Eagle model is 3.36, which is not very bad because 3.36 is almost better than the Open Llama 7 billion parameter model. It is better than the Red Pajama 7 billion parameter model. It is almost equivalent to the Falcon 7 billion parameter model, slightly closer to the Llama 2 7 billion parameter model. So if you are comparing the transformer architecture and RWKV architecture, this is not very far away and you would see multiple other benchmarks where this model is doing a decent job like Lambara accuracy. Or if you see ARC, you can see 74.9% while Mistral has scored 81.1% and this is almost equivalent to the Falcon 7 billion parameter model. And same pattern is across all the other benchmarks as well. Like in fact, there is a benchmark PsyQ and in that this is much better than the Transformers equivalent. Now the model is good uh, according to the benchmarks and the model is like doing good in terms of multilingual benchmarks. So what is this model in about? This model is built on RWKV V5 architecture. So the paper last we have is RWKV V4 architecture. So that is what we have got. But even then, if you quickly take a look at it, I'm not definitely, I'm not a deep learning expert. But if you see this thing, you know that this uh, imitates the style of a recurrent neural network architecture, like a sequence to sequence architecture, while having transformers like parallel training option available. So one of the biggest problems with RNN was that you cannot parallelize RNN and also with longer sequence, it had a problem called vanishing gradients. 
that means when you have longer sequence it may not hold the longer sequence in memory so the gradients which would update the weights would vanish and ultimately the longer sequence will not probably work effectively so what this model is trying to do is it is trying to combine both the worlds of rnn and transformers while they are calling this a transformer with without attention that's what they are calling everywhere if you see here they're saying attention free transformer so you could still see that they are using a some kind of a different form of attention here to have uh, the attention capable or the transformer capability within the rnn uh, setup and then the architecture what they are calling us is rwkv which has got a receptance weighted key value so these are like the four main elements that actually take part in uh, doing the transformer like architecture with an rnn kind of setup if you are very good at deep learning i would strongly encourage you to go check this paper out further this is v4 paper not a v5 paper but this model that we are discussing right now is a v5 based architecture the paper should be out in a month that's what they said so this is also the greenest model so they said because this model takes lesser compute because of the architecture so this is the greenest model in the world so it is a linear attention transformer model with 10 to 100 times lower inference cost so this model takes less compute to train this model takes less compute to inference also if you want to use the model and uh, um, it is trained on 1.1 trillion tokens across 100 plus languages and if you see this model this model does a pretty good job of scaling up as well so for example let's take a transformer based model so you have got pythia 6.9 billion parameter model at 300 tokens a 300 billion tokens you see a perplexity score of 4.3 while rwkv5 world 2 version 2 model you can see with the same amount of tokens similar amount of tokens the perplexity is 3.75 so there is a huge improvement in the score whatever that you are using here perplexity for a similar amount of tokens so what they are saying is that if you want to use this architecture all you need is a good data set and you know scalable architecture is what everybody would like so maybe maybe you may not need transformers architecture or the classical transformers architecture because one it doesn't scale up it takes a lot of compute and this this architecture scales up while also holding similar performance like the transformer equivalent with enough data so they are also going to train this with more data and there are some skepticism around how well this model would fine tune so this is something that we should definitely look forward to see if the model fine tunes well if the model retains the properties of the model when it fine tunes well but this is quite exciting it's quite exciting to see that people are combining the existing structures like rnn which is a very matured new deep neural network with transformers and trying to come up with something that would probably be a hybrid or symbiosis of both the model itself is available on hugging faces model hub for you to play with so i very briefly played with this model not a lot so the model is a base model it's not an instruct fine tune model they said some instructions have gone inside training data but still it is not an instruct fine tune model so you can go here and give a prompt like for example assistant sure here is a very detailed plan to create flying pigs and it would give you for those who have used the next token prediction model like long back before instruction models came into picture this is how we used to give prompts to make the model believe that it has to fill in the rest of the words and you can see it filled in the rest of the words but then again it started uh, giving you more data because we have got max tokens of 333 so a stop token like for example using a stop token like user might do a better job here but the text is coherent it gives you detailed information but then i decided to try it out with the classical prompt that i try with everything with a lot of people that you don't like instruction write a joke on elon musk input why did elon and the response so it takes after why did elon it knows that it has to do the musk thing and then it is doing the response why did elon musk get lost in the woods because he was looking for tesla i don't know if it is a joke uh, i'm not a native english speaker so i don't know if this is a joke but at least the joke even if it is a bad joke it looks complete it looks meaningful i i just don't find it funny and there are like other languages that you can try with that's their whole point 
point is that don't try this only with English, try it with other languages also. I'm definitely looking forward to try this model on Google Colab because this model currently this Hugging Face Spaces is working on T4. So once the merge in this case, like they're getting it merged with Hugging Face Transformers, once that is done, I'm going to look forward to use this model on Google Colab to see how this model performs. But otherwise, I'm super happy that this model exists. Eagle 7 billion, which is a combination of RNN plus Transformers and the architecture is based on RWKV V5 architecture and it scores really good on a lot of benchmarks asking questions like, do we still need to stick to the same attention based Transformers or is it time for us to move on to different architectures, let's say like SSMs or this kind of new architecture. Either way, this is very interesting to see innovation happening while recycling all the old items that are available in the deep learning world. See you in another video. Happy prompting.